Hello everybody, this is Mad Cat Sphere and we're here to analyze Edison's uh, levitating an object with telekinesis video. And I'm here to analyze his video um, right here, right in front of you guys. And tell you guys what I think, how he's developing the ability to levitate this piece of paper. Now, as you can see how he's bouncing it up with his palm right there. That right there is, what, what it seems to me, it seems as though he's... He's worked with aerokinesis, so he, what it is is that he's trying to provoke some air, some ambient energy, bouncing it around, seeing how it floats on his palm. Now the thing is though is that if this is real or not, I do believe that this is possibly real. If this is real, he's groundbreaking, he's shattering all paradigm, uh, paradigms. What he is doing is he's doing something that is defying all logic and uh, doing something beyond just psychokinesis he's doing something amazing you can see right there it's completely levitating above his palm that's like a few centimeters above his palm he's getting it up there as you can see right there now I believe in levitation now the thing is though is that what I want to get into specifically is that if this is completely real which I believe it might be he is using the intricacies of seeing the object Seeing the motion of the object, reading the object like an animal, understanding the intricacies of the motion, the subtleties of the object. It's the same thing as analyzing a PSI wheel, a psi wheel. When I first learned telekinesis, you had to understand is that you do not force yourself to move the object, you allow the object to move on its own. You allow your previous thoughts to move, and that's what he's doing is he's projecting the object to be able to levitate he's pro he's probably thought about how the object move how the object levitate would would levitate in his mind before actually acting on levitating a physical object so what he what it is is that he had to have some previous knowledge on some other uh, form of psychokinesis on other objects before moving on to actually levitating an object. Now that is very impressive what what uh, Edison is doing. That's completely mind-blowingly impressive. And what the thing is though is that you have to understand the intricacies of psychokinesis. He had to understand that you do not force yourself on the object. You become beside yourself. You do not stand in front of the object what you do is that you become allowing yourself to become patient seeing the subtleties feeling the subtleties anticipation of the object being able to levitate predicting and anticipation of the object levitating above your hand that is what he is doing here that is what edison is doing here now what he is doing is completely mind-blowing now one of the biggest things I think that he worked with was with again, ta-da, aerokinesis, aerokinesis. Seeing the objects, seeing objects float, feathers and leaves float in the air, reading them like a book. You know, spending time sitting for hours. I remember I see, I would, to roll that log, you know you guys see me rolling that log? It took me six to eight hours just to get 20 damn seconds to roll three different clips of that log or two clips of that log. What it is, is you have to become patient within yourself and visualize the object floating before your very eyes. This takes time, but it's all worth it as you can see Edison mastering this ability. This is Mad Cat Sphere with the tutorial to teach you guys how to levitate objects. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. God bless.